Hello, fellow soul survivors and vault dwellers. Anime Rebel 44 here. And I wanted to take you on a tour of my how uh collection house located in Sanctuary. Originally my collection was stored in this warehouse, uh, which was much taller, but I wound up demolishing the top couple of floors because I just didn't feel like the collection belonged in a warehouse. It looked too shabby. And this is the exterior. I've done some building in Sanctuary, uh, such as this robot uh, workshop, but that will be another tour. So let's head on in. This is the workshop for customizing power armor. All my parts properly organized make it a little easier to find them crafting stations for crafting anything I need for the power armor and then the door leading to the inner sanctum of my collection house and as we come in this is the floor for the common power armors. Along with the power armor hoarder pads, which allow me to transport them here, rather than trek all over Commonwealth in a power armor. I can just send them here and then put them in their stands. a floor and we have the floor for the custom power armors we have the storyteller the XO2 combat power armor obviously our collection of vanilla in-game unique power armors the T-51 military X03 we have here the Skyrim armors and also the submersible power armors Hop our elevator, go to the top floor, which is my showroom. Here we have various outfits like Lorenzo's. We have displays for the models. Uh, occasional mannequin striking a pose. Obviously, uh, I still have stuff that I have to move up here. Still got many of the mannequins in their default state. Um, really like the look of these uh, display cases. My only issue with them, along with the mannequin stands, which are from functional displays, is they remove the paint jobs and any modifications and only display the base weapon, 
without the mods on them. So the mannequin stands. The mannequins have a tendency to want to stand on the ground. So I'll come in here and they'll be all downstairs sticking through the floor. But unfortunately the other mannequin mod did not work very well. Uh, I could put in maybe 12 and then the game would start crashing. Uh, no, I have no alms for the poor. As you noticed, we started out on the second floor, third, and then finally the fourth. The first floor is technically underground. More like a basement. I really had an urge to put in a vault. Bank style. I could securely lock up all of my other legendaries. Here is what I mean by the mannequins wanting to stand on ground. That's basically where the ground is under the floor here. But this is <coughs> this is where I store all my legendaries, my uniques that are not on display, along with other odds and ends. Anytime I start to feel over encumbered with uh, stuff. And that pretty much does it for my little walkthrough of my collections house place where it's I store my custom map. power armors and so on and so forth I hope you enjoyed the tour give you some good ideas and for builds of your own so Safe travels, stay safe while adventuring the Commonwealth. Thank you for watching.